Greetings. Get ready to embark on an extraordinary journey, exploring the world of backup solutions to install for your Proxmox server. In this video, we will subscribe to Oracle's Free for Life server. We will use the three of the most popular technologies now. We are creating a Free for Life Oracle Cloud Rocky Linux VM server. We will install Tailscale and add it to our Tail network, making this our Proxmox offsite backup server. Then we will install Droppy for backing up our laptop computer. And then we will ask a question. So, buckle up and prepare to be amazed by the brilliance of this video. Now, without further ado, let me introduce you to our Proxmox expert, Nico. Please note that Nico has a charming Dodecanese European accent, but fear not, he speaks the Queen's English fluently. Over to you, Nico. Thank you, Josh. Hi there. In the previous video, we installed Tailscale in our Proxmox server, as well as in our Linux laptop, the Dell laptop. For this video, we have provided a link to this blog page down below. If you haven't watched the previous video, here is a link to that video so that you can get the instructions how to install Tailscale onto Linux servers and Windows computers. The first thing we need to do is to register for the free service. To do that, we use this search string, Oracle Cloud Free Tier. And depending on your country, you will get this link here. So when you click on this link, it will take you to this page. You will search for your country, United States, and you'll put in your details here. And then you will click here. It will send you an email. And from there, you will then use your credit card to register for the service. Please note, it will debit you a dollar, verify that the transaction took place, and then it will credit you back the dollar that it debited you. As I said, it's free for life. It doesn't cost you. But the reason they do that is to verify your credit card because there are services that you can purchase using this account. After you have registered, you will come back to this page and you will click here to log in. Once you have logged in, it will bring you to this page, Get Started. And you click here, create a VM instance. Don't worry about the name. Now we are looking for a free machine. So this is free, but they are using Oracle Linux. You may want to run Rocky Linux. Then edit this. Change the image. Click on Rocky. And we want Rocky 9.1. This is the one you select. And you say select the image. Now there's not much else to do here except to add your SSL certificates. This you do over here. So what you do is you go into your Linux. You get your public key and you paste it in here. That is not my key, but that's what you do. And then when you've done that, what you will do is you will click on create and it will then create your VM. In my case, I already have a VM, so I'm going to cancel this. And there's my VM. It's going to give you an IP address and it's also going to generate a user Rocky with the password that you will be prompted when you create the server. Having done this, now let's go and connect to the server with the terminal. To make life easy for us, we added Oracle VM to our etc slash hosts file. So now I connect to this server with, with this command, ssh rocky at 
and then instead of the IP address, I typed the name in my host's file. You will notice that it connects without the password because we use the SSH. Because Oracle is not allowing you to use a password and forcing you to use a SSH key, it's making it extremely difficult for hackers to break into your server. As you can see, I'm not getting a report there of failed login attempts, which I do get with other servers that I rent. Enough said. I'm just going to reorganize my screen. We have provided a link here to help you install Tailscale. And since we are working with a Linux machine, you will copy this command and paste it into here and then run it. I'm not going to do that as I've already installed it, but I'll show you on one of my other machines that I will install it on. So let's go here and open a tab, paste and run it. And now we have to run sudo tail scale up. You'll notice that it didn't prompt me with a, a link with a password it, as it already recognized this machine. So I will now go into my browser and open the tail scale control panel. Having logged into the tail scale control panel or admin panel, you will see that you have a new machine. This is my Rocky Linux machine, the one that I connected to the terminal from here. I now have it in tail scale. We decided that we wanted this Linux machine to be our off-site backup machine. We first experimented with PicoShare, but we found it was very limited. So we went and installed Droppy on this machine. We have provided a link in our blog page to the video where we installed Droppy on our Linux server. And to do that, we also had to install Docker. So Docker PS-A. And you can see it's up and running. So Droppy is running on this machine and it's running on port 8989. Since we got the port, for Droppy, we now ran the command IP space A. And if we look here in tail scale, you will see there's an IP address there. So basically, we had to take this IP address with that port and put it into the browser. And we are in. This is one suggestion. It gave us an off-site backup server to back up our work and our documents and our pictures and things. In your case, you have a choice. You can do one of two things with this server. You can either use it the same way that we've used it as an off-site backup server, or alternatively, Tailscale allows you to make that an external node. What an external node is the equivalent of a VPN. We are now going to connect to our Rocky server from our Proxmox server. Let us log in.
Open the shell. And we'll ping. As you can see, we have successfully connected our Oracle VM to our Proxmox server. There's now a permanent connection between the two servers, and this is done on a different IP address that's not available to the internet for general traffic. What this means is that we no longer need to use our terminals to connect to the Oracle VM. We can use Proxmox and do this from the browser. And from Proxmox, we can then connect to our Oracle server. And it also means that we'll be able to copy files from the Proxmox server to the Oracle server, which is what we want to do for backup purposes. As we said, having a server on the internet in another location as an off-site server, you have a lot of choices as what you can do with your Oracle VM. Please leave us a comment and give us ideas as to what you think you would use that Oracle server. And would you connect your Proxmox server to that server like we did using a tailnet? They refer to the tailscale network as a tailnet. We trust you found this video useful. Please give us a like and please subscribe to our channel as we haven't reached our target yet. And with that, back to you, Josh. Thank you for watching this video, exploring the world of offsite backups to install in your Proxmox server. In this video, we subscribe to Oracle's Free for Life server. We got to use the three of the most popular technologies now. We created a Free for Life Rocky Linux VM server. We installed Tailscale and added it to our tail network, making this our Proxmox offsite backup server. Then we installed Droppy for backing up our laptop computer. And then we asked a question, what will you do with this server? Running this solution for our Proxmox server is incredibly useful. If you have not given us a like, please do so. Your dedication to exploring Proxmox's capabilities is invaluable. Stay tuned for more insights, automation, and empowerment through its incredible tools for your home lab. Please like and comment to share your feedback and suggestions for our channel. If you found this video valuable, consider subscribing to stay updated with our latest content and tutorials, ensuring you never miss out on informative videos. Your support is crucial for our channel's growth.